composure can be quite performance heavy because you are rendering out multiple layers though if you've just got one background layer a media input and a mat you should be able to get even on this machine which is a 2070 laptop you can normally get 30 frames per second or so obviously if you go up to a 3090 or a 4090 you can do a lot more complex things but in any case you want to be careful with the number of these cg elements and mats that you add because they are full renders of the scene and so uh, the mat is obviously performance optimized so it's doing a minimum number of render passes to be able to get the objects for the map but cg elements are obviously rendering all post-process effects you've got full global illumination so you know the more of them you have you're going to see a big performance drop the other important thing to note is that composure is rendering a completely separate output to your viewport and so once you've set up everything you need for performance sake you really want to switch the viewport off because you don't need it for your composure output you can see here i've got the viewport off I've got my composure output it's still sending through but you can only switch it off completely in editor because in runtime composure will rely on the viewport being on in some way in order to still work and so what you can do in that case is you can set up a simple blueprint to switch the viewport in runtime to wireframe mode so it's the same as switching it to wireframe here so it really cuts out virtually all rendering and so that'll add a lot of performance but we just do that via a blueprint so we do execute console command and the command is view mode wireframe set that up and now when we go into runtime we're going to see that the viewport will go into wireframe but and we need to when you go into runtime you will need to restart the media in composure but we can see my composure output still sending so that's good so that's the most performant way to use composure at a runtime the other thing which is very important to note is that if you touch elements of the editor so the editor interface at runtime in composure it will cause serious performance issues so what's happening is is that when you touch this it will actually freeze composure and so if i um something like that you can see if i this is stopping conversion so obviously you don't want to do that and the other thing is if i actually click on elements of the comp we can see this is really now slowing down and stuttering so you really need to be careful about this you should absolutely not touch these when you're in studio using this at runtime you either want to set everything up to work via blueprints or have it all pre-configured to go for your shoot so those are the really important things to remember uh, the other thing that will work from a fonts perspective is you can of course use dlss so that will add performance to the cg element and a little bit to the map and in that case obviously you can use a dlss blueprint like this you need to add the dlss plugin so it's dlss here and you can add a simple blueprint select your dlss mode in 5.1.1 
the LSS has been upgraded a lot, so um, we'll probably add a separate tutorial for that. But in any case, DLSS will be operational on the RCG elements, and so that can give you a performance boost as well.